I'm going to show you how you can use section headers in the mini extensions form. So I have a form here. It's for creating tasks. And what I'd like to do is I would like to create two sections in this form. I want the first section to be including uh, to include the following fields. And the idea here is, you know, those fields are kind of like the tasks details. So I want to create a section and name it task details and put those fields in it. And then I want to do another section called schedule and have those fields within the schedule section. And the idea here is so that when a person comes in, it's nicely organized and it's easy to understand which fields are, are for what. So to do that, go to your extension settings and um, start on the field that you want the section to begin on. So in my case, I want my task details section to include those three. So the first field there is subtask. So I will go into my subtask field and I will click on section header and I will do task details here. So that's my first section. You'll see here that the section now is covering all of the fields under it. So just to be clear, if I were to refresh here, all of those fields under that section would belong to that section. Now, I wanted to also do a scheduling section and I want that scheduling section to be uh, to start on the due date. So I would co go into the due date field, section header, and I will do schedule. Once I do that, you'll notice here that now this section goes for those three fields, stops there, new section starts, and those three fields belong to that new section. So if I re refresh the form right here, you'll see that the two sections now contain the fields that they are meant to contain. So it's that simple. If you have any feedback or questions, please let us know.